So this is our 2022 trip down to the Keys. We're going to stop on the way down and camp at this state park called Collier Seminole. It has uh, a lot of mosquitoes here in the summer, so we pretty much had to just stay inside the boat, used it like a camper, and uh, put an air conditioner up in the window there. You'll see that here in a second. Got all this reflectix up, keeps the sun out. Right now we're at a campground. Now we've got our one bed in here. Fans blowing air conditioning down into there, and this fan blowing air conditioning into the where you sleep. And here we are, pulling into Bahia Honda State Park. It's probably about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes from Key West. Got the scooter there. There was some chopper flying around. It's kind of crazy. There's the boat. Mm -hmm. I always these up. pretty nice to have the scooter down there and the boat. Kind of best of all worlds there because you can scooter down to Key West and Key West is really hard to park a vehicle in so it was nice having a scooter. We put the scooter in the back of the truck and uh, drive it down, park it like a Publix or something and unload the scooter. So there's the window unit I would just set in the front of the boat while we're docked and that worked out really well. Kept us nice and cool in there. As long as we have that reflectix up in the windows to keep the sun out. It was a good boat slip down here at the end, but uh, it was a far way to walk to carry things from the vehicle. And the water pressure was really low way at the end there. Barely got any water out of that hose sometimes. But it was nice, there was a little cut through, you could walk over here and uh, the dog can walk in this little grassy area. Right before you have to touch the 
good. Um, Actually, the name of this restaurant was Tonio's on Summerland Key. Summerland Key. Tonio's. It was pretty good. The waitresses were really, really good there. I really appreciated them. Then we went to this place uh, not too far from there called Boondock. Boondockers, I think, or Boondocks. Boondockers. And uh, a little more touristy, the first place Tonio's was a more local feel. This place was a little more, uh, I don't know, sanitized, I guess, or sterile, but it was still kind of a good vibe. Um, guy playing the guitar up there. We just went in there to get some key lime pie. The only thing was they didn't have real key lime pie, they just had what's called ice box, so it was kind of like a frozen piece of key lime. Um, wasn't a big fan. It was okay. Okay, so today is the day. 
to head out to Lou Key Reef. So we just left the Bahia Honda State Park Marina Campground and we've got a 10 mile run out to Lou Key. Look at that flat water. We had a perfect day in June and it was could have been could have been flatter maybe almost like glass. That's what we needed because uh, my job's getting us offshore and back and keeping this dog alive the whole time. We would have to take turns snorkeling because one of us would sit with the dog because she gets a little bit of uh, separation anxiety, especially 10 miles offshore. These yellow snapper or yellowtail snapper, I think is what they were called, were pretty friendly. They obviously know they're protected in this Lukey sanctuary here. It was pretty awesome.
So after Luki, we headed to what's called Picnic Island. It's kind of famous down there. Um, it was basically off of uh, Big Pine Key. And uh, yeah, it was nice water, clear day, good weather, making some coffee. And uh, we're about to make some breakfast. It got to be a little crazy there later on with uh, boats and music, but uh, if you go there early, it, you can have it kind of quiet and then it picks up uh, later on. So we just hung out for maybe an hour or two and then we uh, headed back. We got some good breakfast coming here in a minute though. Yeah, so we're basically cooking up some breakfast here. A uh, bunch of vegetables, cabbage, onions. Uh, I think there was some bacon cooked in there first. And then we'll uh, cook up some eggs and that'll be, uh, that'll be breakfast. I flipped all of them without cracking. This is a pretty famous coffee shop called Babies. Um, those folks you saw in the beginning there with that tent were, I think it was Monroe County, they were trying to hire people for um, the school board down there, or the school system, teachers and things like that. I mean, they were just out there trying to rec recruit. That's how difficult it is getting uh, people to work as a teacher or maybe to work at all, I don't know. Yeah, so here I am uh, unloading a scooter down in Key West. We 
took it down in the truck because it was probably a 40 minute ride from Bahia Han to campground and we didn't want to ride the scooter that far with our dog. So uh, now we got the dog on the scooter with us and we were driving down in, in Key West and uh, just taking it slow and easy. Nothing crazy when we have the dog on the scooter we just take it, you know, 20, 25 miles an hour tops. Going down little side streets. No sloppy joes. Nobody knows that place. I think you'll get to see the dog here in a second. And there you go. Is this special? Yep. Okay. This was probably our favorite restaurant in the Keys when we were there. It was called the Half Shell Raw Bar. And the vibe was just perfect. Very, the location was great, but you could have a dog inside. There was chickens running around. The music was good. It felt like no judgment. Everybody just do what you want and everybody get along. It was really a great vibe there. We loved it. After we had a bite to eat here, we wandered over to another side of the restaurant that had air conditioning. And again, it was fine having our little dog with us. Nobody said anything. It was totally perfect. We had this uh, bucket of rum for two, and uh, that was good. We actually had a second one of those in the bar. I'll see you in a minute. We're wearing this dog out, but uh, that's a cooling vest we have on her, that little vest that she has. We get it wet, and it keeps her uh, cool. So this is another day that we're going out to a little bit closer reef. It's called a Patch Reef, I believe. Newfound Harbor Keys, possibly, is also another name. But this was maybe, I don't know, seven miles or 
so from where we were camped out at so uh, we're getting a dog wet there and uh, this reef was really nice almost as good as Luke Key so we enjoyed it as well you'll see some footage of uh, the fish underneath there in a moment so that's a nurse shark nothing to be afraid of That is a hogfish. They are delicious. Snorkeling right out there. Try this in a little bit. We got a few raindrops. I'm trying this for a, a potty pad for her. It's a turf with a plastic, and I scooped up some of her pee and put it on there out of the sand. <clears throat> I'm trying this this spray potty here. Sprayed it. Tell me this guy didn't have a bad day. There's his uh, whole lower unit of the outboard got caught on that reef. It's only probably three or four feet uh, deep right here, so could have been a lower tide and uh, just a couple of feet of water, and that thing got clipped off of the boat. <laughs> Not good. Drop 
We're in the pool. It's waterproof. <laughs> blackened um, two pieces and then we um, coated a couple pieces with panko and fried it um, in olive oil. Um, don't ever use anything other than, don't ever use like uh, um, canola oil or any of that crap. That stuff's not good for you. These were amazing. We got fried grouper and blackened grouper. Salad. <laughs> hey guys, this is uh, about the end of the video now. Hey so uh, we're stopping here at the Midway Cafe in the Keys on our way home, and it was a fantastic yeah. stop. Great so breakfast great and nice ambiance, and pretty good coffee. Thanks a lot for tuning in.